Hi everybody. One of the bigger life-saving improvements that our browsers have made over the past few years is the idea called form auto-completion. The time where you have to keep entering your first name or your last name or email address over and over again. Our browsers have figured out a way to store the information and make sure it is automatically provided for us or made easily available to us as part of browsing various websites. Now, there are times though, when as a web developer, you may not want your input elements, you may not want your form elements to be auto-completable. In this video, we'll take a look at why you might not want this really cool capability and how to make sure you can add the appropriate things to your markup to disable that in those cases. So the first thing really is, when I talk about form auto-completion, this is what I mean. And I'm pretty sure you had an idea what you're what I was referring to, but it's good to just be completely crystal clear here. Here, for example, there's a name field, there's an input element right next to it. And when I give focus, my browser kind of knows that this is a, a name field. There's a very good chance that my name is what I would want to provide here as a shortcut, as opposed to me typing it out by hand. And you can see this replicated for many common fields like your address, like your email address, your phone number, and so on. Now, why might you want to disable this capability? What are some reasons for what would be something so time-saving that you wouldn't want to give to your users? And there's several reasons for it. There's three that I often run into that I think would be useful to call out are, it could be a one-time pin that is part of a two-factor authentication check. You may not want to cache the six digits or five digits or whatever number that is generated as part of your authentication protocol. That's not something you want to cache. It's a one-time thing. It's going to be unique. And every time you want something new to be provided there. Other times, maybe something really sensitive, like a government issued ID value, like your social security card or your driver's license number. These are things that even though the autocomplete is tied to your profile probably and there's some security behind it, you may not want to cache that. You may want someone to enter that every single time. And the last one is not all inputs and form elements are designed for collecting information and transmitting information. It could be something that is part of a game. It could be something that's part of an online calculator. It could be something where the value you're providing does not need to be cached. If anything, storing that and showing it to the user may end up slowing them down, may end up frustrating them. Can you imagine playing like a word game where every word you've entered in the past is now showing up in a little drop down or automatically appearing when you load the page? Not cool. So these are some examples of why auto-completion may be something you'd want to disable. Now, the way you can disable auto-completion, it's fairly straightforward in the form of the autocomplete attribute. There's a very nice HTML attribute that is provided where you can specify autocomplete equals off, and that enables that, or that ensures autocompletion is disabled for whatever scope that attribute has been specified on. By default, this value is on, so if you don't specify autocomplete equals on, or you don't specify autocomplete at all in your form and input elements, the browser will assume that autocomplete is enabled, and it'll do the, you know, it's time-saving magic every single time. So to go one level deeper, how do you disable autocomplete on the entire form? Here I have an example of a form with a couple of inputs and a button. And let's say that I do not want to any element in this form to have autocomplete set on it. The simple answer, I have autocomplete equals off set as an attribute on the root form element itself. And this cascades. This ensures that any element, both the inputs below it, will also respect the setting and not have autocomplete enabled for it. So here's one way to disable autocomplete on the entire form. Now, there may be times where you don't want to disable autocomplete for the entire form. You may only want to disable it on a particular element. And here you can see an example where the input element that is for two-factor indication, that one has autocomplete turned off. The other ones have autocomplete not even set, which means the default value of on is respected and that information will be stored and presented to the user in a pretty convenient way. The last approach is to just complete the loop here. We looked at the HTML way of being able to specify autocomplete. If you're using JavaScript and you need to do something in JavaScript for some reason, you also have the same capability as well. You can see at the bottom right here, where all I'm doing is getting a reference to the form element using query selector, typical DOM manipulation accessing. And then all I do is use a set attribute method and specify autocomplete to off. And this ensures that autocomplete is off when this script happens to run. And so that's really it. That's really all there is to disabling autocomplete. You know, one of the things about autocomplete is 90% of the time you want to enable the right thing happens, the default behavior where the browser gives you a shortcut or the page automatically loads with the information pre-filled. It's exactly what you need, but there will be times, like we talked about some of those cases where you may not want autocomplete to be available. And if you don't want it, 
Luckily, HTML provides you with the, the handy autocomplete attribute that allows you to disable it very easily. And you can also set it via JavaScript because, hey, it's all the DOM. And the DOM is just a nice, consistent way for being able to set things, whether through HTML or through JavaScript. If you have any questions, post in the forums at fournetgroup.com where I and others would be happy to help you out. It doesn't have to be about auto completion. You can ask us about anything web development related and we'll be happy to walk with you through that. If you like the video, hit tell your friends and enemies, hit subscribe to be notified of new videos that I might be recording. Follow me at Krupa on Twitter, on Facebook and other places where you might find me. And if you like to read things in a book form, either in a Kindle or a paperback edition, besides reading them as free articles on croup.com or as a video as you're watching right now, uh, check out the link for all my books that I've written. Then some of them are pretty popular, some of them are pretty highly rated, and you may even like them. Or if you don't like them, a friend may like them. So, and with that, I will see you all next time.